Hey, I'm Naif and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a speech bubble in CSS. And the platform we'll be using to create this is an online platform called CodePen. And you can get to it by going to codepen.io. So here on CodePen, it's, it's a front-end development playground where you can play around with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. To start off, we need to create the div element for the speech bubble. Div class. We give it a name of speech bubble we add some text inside and then give it some CSS properties we give it a position of relative background color and we'll give it some rounded edges using border radius we'll give it a text color of white give it some padding 5 RAM increase the font size to 3 RAM and we align it in the center as well using text align center. We also give it a nicer font using Google Fonts. So if you go to Google Fonts, we'll give it a script type font. Search in script. I'm going to go for this one here. I'll select the style, click embed, click it import, and copy the import code there. Paste it to the top of the CSS file. And then we'll copy the CSS property of that font. And add that font family to the main div class. The next thing we need to do is create the, the arrow on the speech bubble. And we do this by using CSS's pseudo element. As we're in CSS only at the moment, we will do it outside of this main class, main div. Do speech bubble as the main div element and the pseudo element over then after. Then inside here we'll be adding our arrow properties. Start by adding content empty. Give it a position of absolute. And we want the arrow to show right at the bottom of the speech bubble. So do bottom zero. And we also want it to show in the middle. So we do left 50%. Give it a width height of zero. Give it a border 20 pixel solid transparent. We want the, the arrow to be the same color as the speech bubble. So we do border, top, color, same as the speech bubble. And we give it a border, bottom, zero, a margin, left of minus 20 pixels, a margin, bottom, minus 20 pixels. So there you have a CSS speech bubble. Um, this is just in plain CSS. If you're using a CSS preprocessor like less or SAS or something, you can change that in CodePen by clicking this cog and choosing a CSS preprocessor. I'll change it to SCSS for example. And to make this more readable, um, you can just copy the array properties and cut them out and delete, delete that there. Then we can add the pseudo element inside the brackets of the main div by doing and go on after open and close bracket and paste in the arrow CSS properties. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more CSS tutorials, feel free to click that subscribe button.